the area's biggest parties coming up next weekend. You meet the woman who's behind the whole thing. Coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Myrtle Beach Marriott Resort at Grand Dunes. We're focused on the 10th annual American Heart Ball to be held here Saturday, March 6th, a little less than two weeks. And we're visiting with Tammy Eves, the Regional Director for the American Art Association. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Greg. Thanks so much for getting in. Third time's a charm. That's right, that's right. We are less than two weeks from the Heart Ball. We sure are. It's getting very exciting. You've got to be getting pumped. This is the 10th annual Heart Ball, It Tammy. is, it is. It's very exciting. And to be sitting here in the Marriott in this fabulous hotel, um, it's, it's just really going to be a spectacular event this year. It really is. And I know ticket sales are going well. We still have some more tickets right? to sell, though. We do. We still have some tickets. So if anybody's out there watching today that still wants tickets, call us, 626-3939. We okay. still have tickets. That's the number, 626-3939. Yep. And for viewers in the PD or anywhere, it's just the 843-626-3939. That's right. That's right. Glenda McIntyre, one of the co-chairmen for the Heart Ball, was with us on Monday, Tammy, mm -hmm. and she was saying you need to think about just making a donation to the American Art Association. If you think about making, let's say, a $150 donation, it's like 40 cents a day right. for the year 2004, and then you end up coming to the Hardball, experiencing six hours of pleasure here, all for free. That's right, and a lot of people do think $150 is a lot of money to pay for one ticket for an evening out. But it is a tax-deductible donation to the American Heart Association, number one killer in America. So everybody thinks about heart disease, particularly in the month of February, because it's National Heart Month. Um, Valentine's, of course, makes us all think about heart disease. Most folks have been affected by heart disease. When 42% of all South Carolinians die from heart disease, you know, one in every two people has been affected. So. That was a great statistic you threw out, 40 cents a day. Hadn't thought about it like that, right. but that yeah. is a wonderful, wonderful um, amount of money just to put aside 40 cents. You know, the price of, I don't even know what you can buy for 40 yeah, cents I know. anymore. You can get so. some really cheap bottled water for 40 cents. <laughs> That's, That's exactly right. right. It's so exciting. One of the other things she broke down is she said, Greg, Think about it. If you want to, uh, if you want to team up with nine of your friends, mm -hmm. you think about it as 55 cents a day, where you all would each chip in essentially a $200 donation. Right. You break it down over the year. That's 55 cents a day, where you make a commitment to really do it right, make a good donation mm -hmm. to the American Art Association. But the big commitment there is you get the whole night for free. Again, it's that simple thing of working with nine other folks all get together. You can call your corporate table the 55 cents a day corporate table. I mean, right. it's really right. that aspect of breaking it down. She was also talking about just breaking down the simple $25 an hour. If, you, if, you, if you're not thinking about a donation, you're just thinking about experience that evening, instead of thinking it's a $150 ticket, you get here at 6. Mm -hmm. You've got food that starts at 6. What's some of the food that's available at 6 o'clock? Uh, beef Wellington, scallops, shrimp, uh, an Asian station featuring uh, Peking duck. It's just just the hors d'oeuvres are enough for an entree, but they're just you know fabulous array of gourmet food. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was so there are hors d'oeuvres going from six to eight right. along with that Asi Asian station. Right. And where's where's that going to be set up? A viewer was coming in for the first time, Tammy, and they're mm -hmm. visiting the hotel for the first time. Of course, even if they're attending a heart ball for the first time. They come in here through the lobby. Where are they going to go? They are going to go um, down the hallway here to the... I mean, they're heading uh, north they're down heading to north. Uh, down towards the ballroom. That's right, down towards the ballroom. They're, in the hallway, we'll have some auction items set up, and then there are two rooms adjacent to the ballroom where we'll, all the auction items will be. Right. And then we will have the food and um, the bars and things like that will all be... Very visible. Right. I don't think they'll have any trouble finding this. So you'll have some auction items set up down the hallway. Right. As an enticement to, to, to look at uh, all the other auction items. Right. We've got fabulous, fabulous auction items. Um, Four-wheeler is one of them. Right. And a golf cart. Golf so, cart. So not only are they fabulous, but they're large in size. Oh, yeah. So uh, it takes a lot of space. We have uh, about 160 auction items right now. You're kidding. Yes. 
And a they, plasma TV is one of them. A plasma TV. A big other, item this year. These folks are coming in. If a viewer came in with either a check or a credit card, mm -hmm. they're able to buy that. And this goes as a donation to the American Art Association. That's correct. That certainly is. That is amazing, Tammy. I mean, yes. so the opportunity, if you're ever in the market for a, a new TV, a really fancy TV, a plasma TV, mm -hmm. or a four-wheeler, or a golf cart, if you've got a family member, if you've got a neighbor, who you know is looking at a four-wheeler. Now's right. the time to do it right. because they're getting to make this as a donation to the American Art Association. That's right. Which is incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. It is. Wonderful. One of the exciting things, we're here at the Marriott, obviously on a Wednesday morning. This place is hopping. You can hear all the people walking right. around here. This is a location, really, uh, with so many incredible hotels along the Strand. Mm -hmm. This one kind of sticks out right now, not only because it's the location for the 10th Annual Heart Ball, just because so much is going on here. Have you seen, uh, now I know you can't see it, Tammy, I'm looking at the ocean right now, right behind you. I'm looking through that incredible bar out of the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. It is an amazing location. It certainly is. It certainly is. It, people should take advantage of coming in early. Right. Uh, arriving, I think, check-in will be at 3 o'clock on the day of the event. Right. And come down, stroll on the beach, visit the spa. They have a fabulous spa here uh, inside the hotel. Yeah. Um, get a nice massage, leisurely dress for the evening, and then come on down at 6 o'clock, you know, for the hors d'oeuvres and the drinks. You can get an oceanfront room for $99 right. or the garden room for $79. Right. And right. That, that is about a third of the cost of what these rooms actually are. So please take advantage. If you're planning to come to the Heart Ball, you may as well take advantage of that and make it an evening uh, to experience. And you've got viewers from all over that are coming in. Right. Of course, a lot of them attend Heart Balls in the PD area. But you also right. have groups from the PD. Mm -hmm coming down for the weekend That's and really right. make it a weekend. And, right. and you can come in on a Friday night, as you said, that opportunity. I think uh, Cindy Hull, the Director of Sales and Marketing, will be with us on Friday along with Michael King to talk about a little bit about the hotel. But of course, one of the great things that I learned in looking into the hotel, they have 14 down in that spa, 14 separate rooms for massages or for manicures and pedicures, all the different things that wow. can go on, 14 separate rooms. So if you get in here on Friday night, spend the night, the ability to get up on a Saturday morning to get in one of those to get a massage, you're not going to be competing for space necessarily. Right, I mean, right. it's not just one or two rooms. This right. is an 8,000 square foot spa. Wow. It's incredible. I hope to get one of those on Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the day after the, the game. The day after. I'll need it. You better talk to Ronnie about that. That's exactly right. I need to remind him. The splurge. Get ready. You deserve a team. Yeah. Okay. What are you feeling like now knowing that we're exactly 10 days from the hard ball? Very good, very good. We've had a great response. Um, we have over 700 guests at this point. We still have at least another 100 tickets that could be sold, and, right. and phones are ringing off the hook, so I expect that we will sell those tickets. Um, our auction item lineup looks great. I think we have about $86,000 in fair market value for no auction way. items, which wow. is incredible. Um, everything just looks good. We have a great lineup of sponsors. I'm very excited about it. Logistics looks great. Um, people are real excited. This is a new hotel. It's a um, fabulous menu. Great band. Chairman of the board. Everybody loves Chairman of the board. Yes. And there really will not be a lure in our entertainment that evening because when Chairman's taking a break, they've brought another group in, the executives, and they will be performing. So we will have entertainment from non-stop, basically, from 9 to midnight. You've got Chairman of the Board performing and the executive. Uh -huh. This is General Johnson and right. Chairman of the Board. This right. is the real thing. It's the real the thing. The same guys who tour all over the world. That's right. That's My right. Lord, that's huge. It is huge. So that alone, if, if you're not coming for the food, if you're not coming for the auction, to come and experience Chairman of the Board and make a donation to the American Art Association. That's correct. I mean, that's incredible. It is. It is. Wow. What about the uh, dinner menu, Tammy? It is filet mignon and main lobster tail, so uh, surf and turf. Right. Wonderful lineup. Um, even asparagus, which is uh, another entree people love. Right. One thing that I am looking forward to is the chocolate mousse with raspberry and Godiva sauce. Oh, yes, that's right. I saw that. The white chocolate mousse with raspberry coulis and Godiva chocolate sauce. Yeah. It is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I saw also, even before the salad, 
they've got a, a Chesapeake Bay crab cake. Right. A superstar a specialty treat here, and then an amazing spring salad, even before leading into the filet and lobster tail. Mm-hmm. How can the Marriott do that? I mean, how can the hard, hard, hardball of pay, uh, afford something like that? This is a big, those are expensive items in anywhere. They are, they are. and the Marriott was very generous to us. They offered us that menu at a, a reduced price, right. and um, you know, it's just a great lineup of food. Um, we're very pleased that they were able to offer it to us at a reduced price because they could get a tax break from the, the reduction, and right. we are able to offer a menu that we might not be able to afford oh, yeah. uh, to our guests which will make them really see the value of that $150 ticket. Mm -hmm. Because a Mm -hmm. menu like that, if they went out to another restaurant and ordered that, it probably cost them $70 a person just for the menu. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Just the menu. And to break it down in four courses there, you know, with an appetizer, a salad, the entree, the dessert, and then all the coffees and everything that go along after that. Right. You break it down, you just keep, how how are everyone going to be able to eat that night, Tammy? There's just too much food. I know, there is, there is. If you enjoy eating, come for the food. And if you enjoy dancing, we'll have that as well. If you like both, you'll have a great evening because you have both opportunities. And the two phone numbers are simple, 843-626-3939 for the Heart Association. And of course, viewers, if they called right this second, they could leave a voicemail if someone's not in the office. That's right. The hotel, 843-449-8880, to lock in that great rate. And of course, I think they said the rate is available for seven days before and seven days after. I mean, it's locked in for a good while. So if you want to come down on Thursday or Mm -hmm. even Wednesday to experience that heart ball rate, just say Myrtle Beach Heartball when you call in. They'll, they'll lock that in, and you lock in. And, of course, there's so many other things that go along with that. As you said, the great the great deal here at the Marriott. Folks should really take advantage of that. It's seven days before and after. That's right. a wonderful rate. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And it's it's in March. Weather The weather outside today is, is beautiful. So it is. Hopefully it will be that pretty then. And, you know, you can have a great time in Myrtle Beach this time of year. We've had some folks for the PD call in that, that are going to be down at another convention that weekend, but right. they heard about the heart ball and they've called up and bought tickets, so right. you don't have to be a local person. You can yeah. be from anywhere in the in the area or from out of town, out of state. Coming from Dillon, am I yeah. correct? That's a real right. estate group that That's are all right. going to come down. Ten ladies. Ten ladies. What, how, how did they find out about the, the heart ball? Carolina people. Woo! <laughs> Carolina. I love it. That's incredible. They found out about it from uh, catching you on. Yeah. And you. That's and right. That's both right. Both of us. us that's right. And called in and locked up a corporate table. Mm-hmm. And right. that, I mean, you know, you think of that. Two thousand dollars. That sounds like a lot of money. Right. But when ten ladies, ten guys, ten kids get together and mm-hmm. say, we're each going to chip in two hundred bucks a pop, we get the opportunity to promote whatever our group is. Right. In this instance, a, a Dylan Real Estate Group, or we get to promote a uh, any type of real estate group or other group coming in. To be able to lock that up together and spread that cost out and either stay here at the hotel or stay anywhere in town just to get dressed up. It's so thrilling right. to experience a night like that. Right. It certainly is. It mm-hmm. certainly is. We're glad they caught us that day and glad they bought tickets and hope some more catches today and decide to do the same thing. Absolutely. And if they call the office, they could, all, all you require is you want someone to leave a name and phone number That's right. so you can call them back. That's right. And they can purchase tickets over the telephone. With a credit card, so don't have to come into the office. Oh, great. Good. Yeah. Tammy, we've got about 10 minutes. Talk about what the what the American Art Association does with the funds raised the night of the hardball, 10 days from now, Saturday, March 6th. What are you going to do with all the money that's raised that night? Well, the American Heart Association funds research projects, and research has led to all kinds of wonderful breakthroughs. The lay person may be not thinking about some things like this, but pacemakers were developed through researchers raising money from the American Heart Association, um, AEDs, CPR, even though the American Red Cross teaches a lot of CPR as well as the American Heart Association, researchers from the American Heart Association actually began CPR, which is you know, huge. Everybody yeah. in the United States and, and abroad uses CPR. Um, one of the things that we have used for the several years, which has saved many, many lives, is the automatic external defibrillator. Right. We used to use defibrillators only in hospitals, but through our research, they were able to make them automated and external. 
which means they can be in a facility just like this, up on the wall. Uh, lay people can go grab one off the wall if they see somebody that falls down from a heart attack and actually bring them back. It's, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. The statistics show if a facility has a, an, a, an automated external defibrillator, usually the results of saving somebody's lives are about 75% greater than a facility that doesn't if you go down with a heart attack. Is that right? Yeah. That's why all the golf courses are really trying to get the automatic external defibrillators. A lot of folks have heart attacks on golf courses. Right. And, you know, when you're, you think you're actually miles really out there on the course playing golf by the time they call 911 and the ambulance gets there gets on a golf cart gets out to you on a course if you've already had a massive heart attack you're going to be gone before they can get to you mm -hmm. but if there is an AED at the golf course and someone that has a little knowledge of how to use it mm -hmm. they can go bring you back and save right. your life so um, it's a wonderful wonderful tool usually airports have Airplanes, them right yeah. sure most malls have them right. um, anybody can purchase them they're normally around twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars it's a wonderful investment in life and the and the research that uh, the american art association helped fund research to create that's the right. aed that's right wow that's right. as well as other heart lung machines right. you said cpr i guess some life extending medications yeah. just about every kind of heart medication that you go to the to the doctor and he puts you on Lipitor or all kinds of heart related medications those those things began in a laboratory with our researchers um, actually using them and developing things to save people's lives. Mm -hmm. And of course the researchers wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't raise money right. from things like heart balls and heart walks because they have to get paid and then they also have to have money to um, to do the things that they need. So, right, right. So it starts here with the grassroots of raising the money and uh, what we do is ever ending. Tammy, this must be so gratifying for you oh, as sure someone who's committed 14 years, I believe, to the Heart Association. Oh, the impact right. for you knowing that you're working to fight heart disease and stroke, it, what's that like for you? It feels wonderful. It really does. Um, you know, I work with a lot of school age kids too, and um, they are they actually use our school programs in the classroom. Right. And I was a part of that that team that got um, all the schools in Oregon and Georgetown County committed to using our school programs wow. in every classroom. So it's wonderful. I have a 14 year old daughter, and pretty much all of her life, she's actually used that material. So when they they get into the heart section, she can feel really proud that her mom was involved in getting that in the Horry County school system. Oh yeah. And um, all the kids say, "Oh, we read about you today," because they read about the American Heart Association. Oh yeah, they think sure. Of me. Absolutely. So. And they must. Is Brooke only 14? Tammy? 14. She looks like a 30. I mean, you know, she looks like a young adult. <laughs> I guess she, she is at 14, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes she thinks she's a young adult, That's right. but she's 14. Now, this Saturday, Brooke's actually got a big event that a, day, a couple days from now, in 72 hours. She's going to be performing in something at, is it Myrtle Beach High School? Myrtle Beach High School. What's Beauty that? It's, a, it's the Myrtle Beach High School Beauty Pageant. So she'll be doing talent as well as actually competing in the competition. Yeah, I think she. I think I saw she had some sponsors, the Myrtle Beach Herald and That's Century right. 21 All-Stars, That's probably right. a heck of a lot of other folks. Now, for you, Tammy, knowing that you're also putting on the, the Wilmington Gala this week, Weekend, this Saturday night, mm -hmm. you've got 72 hours from, I mean, how are you doing it? Heart palpitations. <laughs> yeah, heart palpitations, that's right. Oh, what's going on? That's amazing. <laughs> it's pretty stressful. I have a great team of volunteers, and, and really this organization could not exist without volunteers. I have to give keyword, them a lot of credit. Keyword. And um, we have a lot of committed people to help us, and they've done it for years, so um it's through that that I'm able to, to actually walk away. But I'll be very busy leading right up to the moment that I um, actually leave Wilmington to come to the pageant. Then after the pageant, I'm going to go back to Wilmington. Oh, to come there. on, Tammy. Be there Saturday night and Sunday. This Friday, day after tomorrow, you're going to be heading up to Wilmington to spend the whole day up there. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be up there on Saturday preparing for the gala. You'll leave to come back here for Brooks Pageant. Right. Then you'll go back to Wilmington to That's wrap up the gala. That's right. That's insane. It is. They don't pay you enough. <laughs> we need to talk to Mona and Candy and Connie, the whole crew. What's going on? How do you do it? You said volunteers. Volunteers. Right. Volunteers. Right. We really uh, 
actually they are just wonderful, but we don't have enough of them. So if there are any viewers that would like to help out, we really need more volunteers in our office getting prepared for the Myrtle Beach and the right. Wilmington Galas. But we're very fortunate to have the volunteers that we do have. So if a viewer today on Wednesday or tomorrow or, fr or Friday could help out for the Wilmington Gala just to get a little experience right. so that much of next week they could really help out for the Myrtle Beach or uh, Waccamaw Division. And we say Myrtle Beach. We're talking about Ori and Georgetown That's County. Right. The Waccamaw Division That's serves right. two very large counties. That's correct. That's correct. That would be wonderful to have volunteers that would be uh, attending the Wilmington Gala and learn a little bit for the uh, Myrtle Beach one. The Wilmington Gala will have about 400 guests in the Myrtle Beach when we're hoping for 900. So, yes. Uh, double the amount of people. So it's actually almost double the amount of work when you have that many more guests. So. Oh, yeah. We've got about seven minutes, Tammy. What is it for you? Let, let, let's not focus on the Wilmington one because I know you've got your mind focused on that. But for our, I mean, for the for the Waccamaw Division, the 10th Annual Hardball, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that are, require the most attention getting ready for that night? The auction requires a lot of attention. Right. Of course, there's still auction items that need to be picked up. Uh, all auction items have to be numbered. Bid sheets have to be prepared for each auction item. Table tents describing the auction items. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole lot of uh, in-house paperwork and things that have to be done to prepare for the auction. Uh, seating arrangements have to be made. Uh, those 900 people will arrive. Of course, that we have to know which table they'll all be sitting at. Right. You know, it has to be very organized. And when you've got that many people and that many auction items, it takes a lot of time to get those things organized. Mm -hmm. So if we have somebody that's uh, a good organizer and they really don't even like to attend things like black tie galas, but they'd like to help the American Heart Association, they can call us and come into our office and help us with some of those aspects. Right. Well, you also need volunteers the night of the gala on Saturday, right. March 6th. That's what, right. what are some of the things that they could help out with uh, that Saturday night, March 6th? Well, let's let's take it down a little bit to the day of the event. Right. Sure. We'll be please. bringing um, you know a couple hundred auction items into this hotel, and we have to display them. Right. Not just display them, but display them beautifully into a way that they can be sold and. Um, so just bringing them in and out of the car, you know, mm -hmm. that that's a, a big ordeal. And then, you know, having somebody who knows how to, to put them on a table and make them look nice. Right. Um, we'll also have table arrangements, decorations that have to be put on the tables. Mm -hmm. um, when you're talking 90 to 100 tables, you know, that's a lot of flower arrangements to just pick up from one location and move to the center of a table. Um, we will also have... Um, people that are doing all kinds of things throughout the day. So we'll have a, an area where if somebody wants to show up to help, there'll be somebody that's providing volunteer information. They can tell us what they'd like to do and we'll give them a role so that they don't necessarily have to be experienced and they can just, just come and help out that day and we'll be able to talk to them and, and put them into a role where they'll be helpful. But if they want to come the night of the event, when folks arrive, they have to register with us. We, right. we actually have a list of all the guests and we basically check that list off and we provide a program for them, tell them what their bidder number is because we want them to be able to bid on the auction items right. and what their table number is. Right. And um, you know, that takes a few minutes, usually from six to eight we'll be doing that registration. And then we need folks to help us with the auction, to just walk around the auction room and monitor things. If they see that a bid sheet is filled up, flip it over to the other side because we always have two or three bid sheets on every item. And, um, you know, sometimes if the bid sheet is filled, somebody will think that they can't bid. They will right. not realize that there's another sheet there. Sometimes people stick the pins in their pockets so there's no pin out. So oh, just yeah. have folks just walk around, monitor the bid Great sheets. Point. Great point. Um, so some people have questions about the auction items. Mm -hmm. So we like to have some knowledgeable people standing in the room. So if somebody just has a question about the four-wheeler or has a question about the golf cart mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. about the jewelry, um, you know, something like that. We just have some knowledgeable people in the room. Right. Sometimes people just say, you know, I really wanted to bid on, I, I knew you were having this or I knew you were having that, but I can't find it. Where oh, yeah. is it? So, yeah. you know, just people that have helped to set up that day would make great volunteers to stand around that evening and, and direct people to where the items are because they've been helping us set up. Then at uh, the end of the evening, 
around 10 o'clock we start doing checkout. Right. What that means is all the folks that have bought the live and the silent auction items mm -hmm. need to come pay us. Absolutely. And so we, we will do that from about 10 to midnight, and we need folks to help us with that. Absolutely. Tammy, we got two minutes. i got to say, talk real quick. If you had 30 sec 45 seconds to share with a viewer, if they said, I thought heart disease only affected men, does it affect women too, heart disease and stroke? Heart disease is the number one killer of men and women. 40% of all men and 40% of all women die from heart disease. And if you went out and did a survey and asked people how, what is the number one killer, a lot of people would tell you breast cancer. And one in 26 women die from breast cancer. One in three women die from heart disease. Wow. So heart disease is the number one killer. It's also the number one cause of birth defects in America. The number one cause of birth defects. So it's not just an illness that affects 50-year-old men. It affects all women, all children, and all races, all walks of life. So um, it's definitely a disease that touches everybody. And what a viewer is paying for that ticket for that night will be going directly to help fund research to find a cure to cardiovascular disease and That's stroke, right. to reduce birth defects, to reduce everything associated therein, and to reduce uh, cardiovascular disease both in women and men. That's correct. Absolutely. That's correct. You heard her say it. The words are simple. It affects everyone, whether it's you directly, a family member, a loved one, a classmate, someone in your garden club that's touching you on a day-to-day -day basis. Cardiovascular disease and stroke is very clear. And Tammy Eves hit it on the head. We need volunteers the night of March 6th. We need volunteers today and all the next 10 days leading up to the 10th Annual American Heart Ball. Tammy, thanks so much for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Stay tuned to more Carolina People coming up next. Just consider it's real simple. A donation of 43 cents a day for year 2004 to cover the ticket cost of the 10th Annual American Heart Ball. It'll be here, the Myrtle Beach Marriott Resort at Grand Dunes, next Saturday night, March 6th, from 6 to midnight. Get here, experience chairman of the board and the executives, experience all the thrill of volunteers working together to fight heart disease and stroke. Call 626-3939. We need your help. 